Instagram. Welcome to the podcast. Eric Erickson believed that psychosocial development occurs through eight stages spanning infancy to adulthood. During the first stage of each crisis, the individual experiences a psychosocial event in either a positive or negative direction that affects your personality development. According to the theory, successful completion of each stage results in a good personality and the acquisition of important virtues. Important virtues are characteristic strengths that can be applied to the upcoming crisis by the individual's self. Failure to successfully complete a stage can result in a reduced ability to complete further stages and therefore a more unhealthy personality and sense of self. Eric Erickson was a German-American developmental psychologist who proposed a theory of psychosocial development that consists of eight stages that individuals go through from infancy to old age. These stages are characterized by unique psychosocial crises that must be resolved for healthy development and a sense of identity. Here's an overview of Eric Erickson's stages of life. The first stage is called trust versus mistrust and ranges from infancy to about one year old. In this stage, infants learn to trust or mistrust their caregivers based on the consistency and quality of their care. Number two is autonomy versus shame and doubt that runs through toddlerhood, ages one to three years of age. Toddlers assert their independence and develop a sense of control over their bodies and environment, leading to a sense of autonomy or shame and doubt if the caregivers are overly controlling or critical. The third stage is initiative versus guilt, and that takes place in early childhood from the ages of three to six years. Children begin to take initiative and explore the world around them, developing a sense of purpose and responsibility or guilt if they're punished for their curiosity. Stage four is industry versus inferiority, and that attaches to middle and late childhood between the ages of 6 and 12 years. Children focus on developing competence in various areas such as school and sports, leading to a sense of industry or inferiority if they feel they're unable to succeed. The fifth stage is called identity versus role confusion, and that uh, affects adolescents ages 12 to 18 years of age. Adolescents explore their identity and try on different roles to develop a sense of self or experience role confusion if they cannot find a sense of belonging. Stage six is intimacy versus isolation and is a crisis for young adulthood and people ages 18 to 40 years of age. Young adults develop close, meaningful relationships and a sense of intimacy in this stage or experience isolation if they are unable to form close connections. Stage seven is generativity versus stagnation and is a crisis through middle adulthood, age 40 to 65 years of age. Middle-aged adults focus on making a meaningful contribution to society and their community, leading to a sense of generativity or stagnation if they feel unfulfilled or unable to make a difference. Our last stage, stage eight, is a crisis involving integrity versus despair, and it affects people. It's a crisis that people will go through in late adulthood after the age of 65. In the final stage, older adults reflect on their lives and either feel a sense of accomplishment and integrity, or they feel despair and regret. In conclusion, Erickson's stages of life provide a framework for understanding the developmental challenges individuals face as they grow and mature. By understanding these stages, individuals can work towards resolving the crises associated with each stage and develop a healthy sense of self and identity. <music>